and I'm sharing with you ways you can retain your property rights, okay? Or reestablish them. Now I'll give you another example. The HOA, and we did we discussed this last week, I believe, uh, where the county decided to turn, you know, turn a parcel of its land, and the county is the owner of this part, the title holder, uh, turn a part a portion of it into a, a like a some sort of like a homeless shelter. Nothing against the homeless, but I don't think that well for whatever reason the people didn't agree to it. Most people in the community didn't agree to it, but they don't know what to do about it. They're going to go to the meetings and and, and complain. Well. The board members in the, the county board of supervisors that voted this in, they're not going to listen to these people. They're going to let them get their one minute of time on the microphone. <clears throat> but these people don't realize that they have not appended their decision, their objections to the record. They just went in there and said a bunch of words. Nobody cares because the board already got $13 million. So the problem these people have is they let the board get the $13 million dollars from a non-resident. When all the people protesting this, disagreeing with it, are residents paying taxes and the board is making a decision against the interests of those who paid the taxes based upon a foreign party who paid it a lump sum of millions of dollars and will continue to do so. You see how this is working. They don't care about your property rights because you don't know how to enforce them. So here's a couple of things that could be done. The community can get together. Instead of going to that room, you write up a resolution of the community. And you you resolve that you don't want this in your neighborhood and that your money should not be used for this purpose. And you further resolve that you will no longer be paying the board. And you're going to defund the board, the county board of supervisors. You're going to prevent the budget approval. Why can't you do that? You can, and you should. The next thing I would do is I would get my community together, the people in the neighborhood. Now there's no incorporated lean established covenant for the members in the community, which is fine. I mean, if there was, you could just amend it. But the fact is there isn't, okay? This is in uh, San Obispo, San Luis Obispo, California. And so my suggestion is form an HOA and include that piece of land that the county owns, make the county a member of the HOA. You can do that. And then everybody votes it in according to state law, record your covenant. This is a lien that now you are the lien holder. Your association is the lien holder on this county property. Now the county property is subservient to the community legally. You write the rules. You're the boss because you're using the law. Don't beg for the law. You own it. Well, you don't own it, but it's yours. Just go use it. You're not using it. That's why everybody's complaining. That's why they're protesting, whining, because they don't know. They're not thinking it through. There's a lot more we can talk about, but you see what you know. I'm getting into. So if you look at aceofcoins.club, I try to cover these subjects. Now, recently I'm adding more content for what I call divorce in the state, right? This is where family court is being used to liquidate people, liquidate whole families, destroy them, okay? They're using involuntary receivership to do so. And there is a remedy, there is a way to deal with this. These judges are nasty, but they have numbered days, okay? Days, they have numbered days.